I have a devastating argument for Mr. Batman against his. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like, I'd love to hear I, amazing voice, but go ahead, Tom. If I had to, if I, if I had one word to describe it, I would just say it's devastating. Okay. It attacks Hello, the Mr. very Tom. fiber of his being. Go ahead. I miss one. Batman is the greatest detective ever. I miss yes. two. The greatest detective ever would come to the right conclusion. He did. That's three. And Batman number 53. Sir, do you Batman declares that, that he that is, is an wrong. atheist. Conclusion. Does not exist. No response, Mr. Batman? No, I had to step away from my uh, computer to get my good microphone for this phone, guys. Um, sir, my response is you do realize that you are referring to a fictional character and pointing to him as the foundation of your reality. Do you even realize how stupid that is? Well, which premise oh, are you really. denying? Yeah. About? yeah. Sir. Sure, surely you Batman don't deny is, that Mr. Batman, Batman, is, that Batman the is the greatest detective, detective ever, right? Great, greatest detective what? ever. And he and you know what? He works with so-called gods on a daily basis. He rescues these so-called gods on a daily basis with no superpowers other than his intellect. Now, sir, he would have known that these so-called procreated gods are no such thing. They are simply unique beings with unique abilities. Right, so that just supports the atheism part. Um, are you trying to make my argument stronger? Are you trying to really be that stupid? No substantive rebuttal? So we got, you agree with premise one, that Batman is the greatest, the world's greatest detective. Do you think that, how about premise two, that the world's greatest detective would come to the proper conclusion? I heard that chair shift. That was an uncomfortable chair shift. <laughs> wow, you yeah, are really yeah, speechless. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can hear oh, you. Oh, no. Now I'll figure out why it won't work. Darn it, won't go in the case. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, get my microphone on. I forgot to got to take the auto box off. Sir, I'm not speechless. I'm pointing out that you are isogetically trying to read in to this text what it does not say and uh, what it is saying, sir, all throughout the text is that Jesus is the Messiah, the way, the truth, and life. And he's prophesied in the Old Testament, validated in the New. Um, that would be Amos chapter 3, verse 7, where God says, Yahweh does nothing, absolutely no thing, without first informing his servants, the prophets. Now, show me um, in the prophets oh. where God's word is. Answer. Yeah, we're kind of not doing the whole just like preach at me thing. Like, I gave you a whole argument. So far, you've agreed and with premise one. what was that argument, sir? Premise one, Batman is the world's greatest detective. Premise two, great, the I'm world's sorry, greatest sir. detective. I don't <laughs> argue with people about fictitious characters. How? We know that I won the argument with you, sir. Isogetic. What? How would you know when I won the argument with you, sir? You show that there's a problem with it. Really? So, how are you going to show that there's a problem with a fictitious carrier uh, uh, character? Are you simply going to uh -huh. make up? a fictitious story to back up your fictitious character. Do you see where I'm going with this, sir? No, because you've already confirmed that nice Batman day, is the world's sir. greatest You're not detective. Smart enough to have this conversation. And, and if you had a and if your real objection was that none of this applies because Batman's a fictitious character, you wouldn't affirm that he's the world's greatest detective. 
Sir, being the world's greatest detective, he would ask himself questions such as, where do time, space, and matter come from? Since all time, space, and matter had a beginning in the distant past, where does time, space, and matter come from, and how do you know it? Oh, by the way, that's not the only question you're going to have to answer, because time, space, and matter does not work in a vacuum. So time, space, and matter requires a lawgiver that is issuing and maintaining these timeless, spaceless, immaterial, all-powerful, all-knowing, living, loving, logical laws that never change over time. So number one, sir, here's your homework. Number one, what causes these metaphysical laws to exist? That's number one. Number two, what causes these laws never to change over time in a universe that is constantly changing over time? And number three, why are these laws going to be here tomorrow so you and I can have this lovely conversation? Yeah, but, but, but I'm not the world's greatest detective. Batman is. So are you? Can you answer the questions? Because you don't need to be the world's greatest no, detective. No, because I'm not the world's greatest detective. Can I say, sir, have a nice day. No longer going to discourse with you, sir. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm like, stop. You know what, Batman? I'm standing up right now. I'm actually physically crotch chopping towards my, like, thrusting hip motions towards my microphone. Yes, you, 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 you plan with your genitalia or lack thereof is no surprise to me whatsoever, sir. You wouldn't answer the question because you know it would wreck your whole argument. But have a nice day anyway. Which is argument about no, my, my You know what? No, hold on a sec. Cause hold on a sec. No, because I'm getting a lot of heat in the in the back channel and the DMs. I'm getting a lot of heat, right? For people saying, "Hey, I can't believe you did that. I you, I can't believe you crushed that man's worldview with his own hero." Like, <laughs> what? You're a monster, Tom. You're a monster. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did it. Okay. I admit it. Okay. I did it. Right. It was the only way I thought I could truly get through to Mr. Batman. Okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right? Sorry. But, like, look, when you're dealing with so an individual that... For something that never occurred, you are living in a fantasy land all your own. You have yet to answer a single flippin' Question I oppose to you. Once again, sir, let me try this. Again. Look, to the people who see the they keep back to listen to me. When, when you are dealing with an interlocutor who has a literal vinyl cape in his wardrobe rotation, that you gotta play the game a little differently, people. Okay? Look at the evidence, seeing that all time, space, and matter had a beginning in time, and you know what he would have said? <gasps> Oh my goodness, just like Einstein remember, found out, everything had a beginning. Anything that has a beginning is known as an effect. Every effect must have an adequate cause. Okay. What, sir, would be the and, adequate cause? Time, space, matter. I counter that. I counter that. I put, I put a link in the uh, live chat, which is from Batman number 53, where Batman says, and I quote, I put aside believing in a Deity. You have no End way quote. of answering any of those questions. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I I did that to you, but I don't know. Maybe you can make the switch to to Marvel or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works for people like you. Let me ask you a question, Mr. Batman. You be real with me. When is the last time you actually wore? a cape like out and about like a normal person like pretended that like a cape was normal normal people clothes a cape is normal people clothes sir just depends on what society deems normality for their clothing structures of the day now when was the last time i wore my cape i still have my cape in my closet I haven't worn it in about a year and a half. I need to get a new one. It's tattered. Right. 
Now, is it true that you once wore the Batman cape to a funeral? Sir, did you have a Bible question? Tom, you know what she said? Yes. Talk to him about is because he loves Jesus so much, and Mr. Batman has a deep disdain for transgenders, so you should give him the Jesus is a transgender argument. Um, actually, Ms. Gullis, oh. I hate to disagree with you, but I do not have great disdain for transsexuals. As you may know, ma'am, I don't remember if I uh, mentioned this to, this to you before, um, that, but my son is an openly practicing homosexual. That is a sexual pervert in no different way than a transsexual, transvestite, whatever you want to call themselves. They're all sinners. They're sexual perverts. So I do not have a disdain for these people. I have a disdain for their flippant sin in the face of a loving God. Um, did Batman identify in a sense as a, as a bat? <laughs> that would be... Consider it all joy, my brothers, whenever you encounter various trials, because you know that in the test of your faith, it produces endurance. And let endurance have its perfect effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. What's that mean? Mm-hmm. Endurance. You endure Look, through Mr. All Batman. Did Batman identify like as a bat? The 40 days in the wilderness. Until you have reached reached that state of perfection, did, when did the, the Batman identify as a bat? Drops off the silver, and now he sees his reflection in the silver, on? the precious metal. This is a kill you, screen. This is a, this is a kill screen. Mature, mature is he's like, he's, in he's one. He's literally broken, right? The knowledge of what to do. If he were, if he were a pinball machine, he would just be saying tilt and flashing. Mature and complete. That's what that means. Lacking in nothing. If you have good sense about right, you, sir, you lack in nothing. Jason, you're hot-liking. 